Hello everyone, welcome to Techie Pocket. Today I'll be showing you some things you can do with your old power supplies. Of course, you can do some of these things with a lot of other items in your old computers also. Number 1. The screws. Um, well, when you're taking apart your power supply or whatever part you want to apply this to, you're of course going to be left with screws. Any screw can be used for anything. Anything that you need a screw for, you can use these for. A lot of it will be, of course, computer projects, since these are all, all standard computer screw sizes. Number two, the metal. You can use the metal for anything. It's metal, I mean. I used the metal for making this cool techie shelf. It's techie only because it's a power supply metal. But of course, it looks very cool, and uh, it's a free way to make a shelf if you want to do that. But you can also melt down the metal, or sell it to someone, or... Even just bend it and use it for something else. I've seen some people using it to make a monitor mount. Number three, the wires. The wires can be used. Most of the time, the wires are not broken. If the wires are broken, however, the step will not work, but most of the time, the wires are still good. You can, of course, throw away the wires as they're pretty much worthless, but if you have a little soldering skills and you need some wire and don't want to pay a few cents for them, then I don't know, keep it. 4. The PCB. In my case, I didn't do anything modified. I didn't modify anything to the PCB. I just put it on my shelf and it looks very nice. It's a cool item, one of those items to add a nice, cool thing to your desk. However, you can of course also desolder everything on the PCB and use the PCB to make your own thing. Another thing you can do is use the PCB as a decoration, or you can take the heat sinks off them and the wires off those. You can do anything with the PCB, there's a lot of stuff on it. Number 5, the switch. Of course, most power supplies come with this switch, of course nowadays, but back then a few of them did. If you have an old one that happens to have a switch like mine did, then you can salvage that. You can remove it, and with a little bit of soldering skills and some knowledge of how this switch works, you can map it to some kind of keyboard button or something, or, you know, use it for some kind of button box, whatever you want. So that's it for all my tips and suggestions of what you can do with an old power supply. Of course, this applies to anything else. And, uh, yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down and subscribe. And feel free to ask me questions in the comments below, send me suggestions for my next video, and even discuss some stuff about your old hardware in the comments section. I'll see you guys in the next video, and, uh, subscribe to the channel. Bye!